Okay, hey, more than a billion people, yeah, a billion people around the world need one or more assistive products with that market expected to reach $26 billion in the next six years. One firm hoping to cash in on the growing demand is called Orcam. Yeah, it makes a device which sits on a, well, pair of spectacles and it uses optical character recognition to see a patient through. Hey, let's get more. Ziv Avaram is the co-founder and the CEO of that very company. Great to have you with us. Um, uh, welcome to the program. Listen, you've got it there. I can hear it talking already. Yeah, Explain. <laughs> get your glasses out. Go, you need those, don't you? You can't just, you, yes. know, you need it to sit on something. <laughs> Explain how, what this device is and how it works briefly. So this is today the most advanced wearable device in the world that can assist visually impaired and blind people. And the way it works, you just locate it on a very strategic place on your face, right. which is on the arm of any pair of glasses. And there is a camera on one side mm -hmm. and a tiny speaker on the other side. Right. It will help you with your basic activities through your day. For example, reading. Reading is the most important thing for people that are losing their sight. So the only thing you should do is just to point on a text. Right, let's have, let's have a look at this. If we can get here's, here's the script I just read for your, um, for your introduction there. So I know we're not going to be able to hear it, but if you do that, so you, so yep. the only thing that I have to do yep. is just to point on the text wow. this way. Yeah. Press plus M -M -E. Can I take it and, and now it reads for you. Wow. So that's exactly the script there. Yeah, so that's exactly that's the script. Yeah. So is this, are you say visually impaired, I mean severely visually impaired, I mean can it go, it could be blind people? Visually impaired people that cannot read anymore, the glasses cannot correct their sight. Yeah. And unfortunately there are 350 million people in the world that are losing their sight and they are visually impaired or blind. It is the only technology today that can really help them, not just read, to identify faces, Money notes, money notes, credit cards, millions of products. And there's nothing else out in the market at the moment that does this? No, we already sell it. Also in UK, in the United States, in, in 29 countries. And we already covered 18 languages. So it's most of the languages of the world. Well, sorry, when I said, is there any else out there? But do you have competition? I mean, we know the wearables. You say it's a huge, we've done it on this show, huge business. Um, do you have competitors out there with similar devices? This is the only device that works offline, but real time, which means we don't need internet connection. Now that's important, isn't it? Very important. We don't even use cloud services. So we, f we keep full privacy of our customers, which is very important nowadays. C and it can work everywhere. Could it do, for example, translation? Could you yes, it can do translation. We can connect through Google Translate. Right. So we don't use our own technology, but through you Google could, Translate. You could, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's, this what's this little baby? It's very nice looking, by the way. What's this little baby going to set me back? How much it will cost you? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. 4,500. 4,500 US yeah. dollars. US dollars, yes. Right, okay. I mean, some, some will say, oh, that sounds a lot of the, the thing, but I guess the site is worth, you know, people will pay a lot for their site, I guess, yeah. right? We founded the company eight years ago. Mm -hmm. It's my partner, Professor Amon Shashwet, myself. It's our second company. Our first company was Mobili, which is doing autonomous vehicles. It's a huge investment. It's a big investment, a lot of development. I believe with the time, the price will go down. But usually in new companies, when they come with very sophisticated technology, the price starts higher and it goes down very quickly. I, I, indeed. Now, you, say, you said globally, right? You, you, we you started here in the we UK, but you are... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, is there a particular growth? I mean... It's a silly question because there's a lot of people from all over. It doesn't matter where you're from in, uh, in the world with, with you know, uh, uh, impairment, visual impairment. But, I mean, where, you, where are your big markets? No, the visual impairment, unfortunately, as I said, is a very big market. But because it's a reading device, also dyslexic people, <gasps> which is 3 to 5% of the population, can be assisted by this technology. That is brilliant. So and dyslexic, of course, yeah. And also disorders like aphasia, people that cannot actually read, more than 30 million people in the world. Okay. Or senior citizens. Mm. They still can read, but get tired very quickly. Mm. So by this device, they can continue to read. This turns a book into an audio book, if you will, right? Because it's yes, right in front of you. Yes, yeah. but you can okay. read whatever you want. I've got, uh, I've got, look, I've got to wrap it up. But I'm wondering if people around the world, especially on Wall Street, are looking at this going, hey, we might want to invest in this because you...